everybody. My name is Sean and I'm your host with Paper Planes. In this Dark Souls tutorial video, I'm going to show you where to download and how to install the Dark Souls High Res UI and Subtitle Fonts mod. Okay, first before you do any of that, I need you to go to my YouTube site and follow the DS Fix mod installation video if you do not already have this mod installed. It is a prerequisite to the installation of the high res UI and subtitle fonts. Okay, so after you've done that, we're going to go ahead and navigate to our browser. You can just open one up like so. And then we're going to go to darksouls.nexusmods.com. As you see here, I'm already logged in. If you do not have an account, go ahead and register for one. It doesn't cost you anything. All right, and we're gonna do a search. High res UI. All right, and this is the exact item that we're looking for. Click on the files button. You'll see here it is recommended version 1.211. Depending on when you download this file, there could be a new version out. Just make sure that you download the most recent version unless it's a beta version. Alright, so now we're just going to click on a mirror link here and it's downloading the file for us. Just slightly over a meg, not a big file. Alright, now it's done. We're going to open that up, minimize this browser, drag this over here, and now we're going to go to our Dark Souls folders. Mine is located in the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then my Dark Souls game file, Data, and then DSFix folder should be here. If it's not, revert back to the video that I showed you at the beginning where you need to install the DS Fix mod. Okay, once there, you're gonna insert into the texture override folder. Going to select both of these files and drag and drop them into this folder. Now we can minimize out of this and we're going to load up our game. All right, so now that we've loaded up the game, you can actually see a difference immediately the resolution for the font on the menu screen has already increased. I'll just scroll down through here and we'll go ahead and load up a character. Even on the character screen you'll see a distinct difference in the font. It's a little bit crisper. Everything is 1080p font style now so you're actually gonna fit more characters on your screen so all the menu screen will be a little bit more compressed won't be taking up as much real estate as the default 720p texture of the font rendering resolution. Okay, so now that we've loaded up into the system menu, we'll just scroll around through here a second. Now we're in the status menu. As you can see, the font is very clear. Everything is crisp. We'll go over to our inventory stash and um, everything looks good here. We'll click in on the equipment, and as you can see here, we've got five slots visible at all time, whereas the default 720 will only show four slots, and I'll go ahead and show you that comparison right now. And as you see here, we've reverted back to the 720p font style. This is the game default font setting. Now you can see the huge difference here, and that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel and social media accounts to keep current with Paper Planes updates. Thanks and take it easy.